What's up YouTube? I'm the Kyle Car 131 and this gel test we're going to be trying out the Underwood Ammo 300 grain jacketed hollow point 458 SOCOM. So 458 SOCOM. For those of you that don't know 458 SOCOM is a big boy round. It is one of the big bore rounds that has been chambered for the AR-15 platform. So I'm not honestly an expert on the uh, 458 SOCOM round. I I kind of know a little bit about it. It was made for SOCOM, hence 458 SOCOM. But uh, I don't know a whole lot about it. Do your own research. Look it up after you watch this video if you want. But I know it's one of the big bore rounds, 300 grain jacket hollow point. This is actually the, uh, I believe, the Hornady XTP round, fairly well-known round. And we're going to see how it does in some 10% clear ballistics gel from five yards away. I'm going to be shooting it out of the Aetheris A15, which I want to say I'm working on the review for, but I don't know if you've looked at the price of 458 SOCOM lately. I ain't got an ammo sponsor, so this review is not going anywhere for a while. Anyway, I'm going to be using these uh, sexy exclusive to Classic Firearms Orange Lancer mags. Again, five yards away. And we're going to see how this uh, 300 grain jacket hollow point does in some ballistics gel. 300 grain jacket hollow point from Underwood. See how it does. 16 inch barrel on this Aetheris. Ooh. 1721 for the velocity. All righty, let's see if I can find where the bullet is. Move the entire gel block. And I don't know where it went. Oh shit, is that it? I think that's it. It just happens to be perfectly behind a uh, exit wound from another test I did, so I can't see it from this side, but I believe I found it. So overall penetration, we're looking at 24 and a half inches. Neck, before it starts to do a lot of tissue damage from the temporary stretch, Oh, three quarters of an inch, roughly. And the, like the tissue damage from the temporary stretch, we're looking like three quarters of an inch up to 12 and a half inches. So as I've said in a lot of videos, I do a standard of like 12 to 18 inches of penetration for all of my gel tests. Yes, including rifles and shotguns. If you want to know why, watch the video right up here. Uh, and this one is <laughs> overpenetrated. A little bit, but this isn't really, I believe, marketed for a self-defense round, I don't think. So the fact that it over-penetrated, not really a big deal if you're hunting or something like that. If you wanted to use this for defense against two-legged predators, uh, well, for one, you're a fucking giga chad for using 450A for home defense, but you're probably going to have some over-penetration a little bit. So that's not ideal as far as the tissue damage from uh the tissue damage from the temporary stretch cavity it's pretty in line with what i've expected as far as the depth of it it goes roughly halfway through the overall uh penetration of the bullet roughly which is pretty in line with what i've seen so that's not really surprising so you can't really see it very well from the front here because there's another bullet track right in front of it but this is a another a different test I just did. That's the 45 round, but that's the 458 in the back. It goes all the way through. That's kind of roughly where it starts to taper off for the temporary stretch. It goes over here into the second block. And yeah, you can tell really well from this side back there where it stops. 
right there. A whole lot of shit going on with this gel block, but that's where it stopped right there. Right back here, there's another exit wound from another test, which is why I can't really tell from that end, but that's definitely where it stopped. Just so you can tell, that's right where it stopped. And I can tell because I can feel the bullet in there. Hey, look, there it is. As is not surprising, it's a 458 SOCOM, so expanded really big. Doesn't look, it looks like you might have lost some of the jacket right there, but. Expanded really nice and big. That huge lead slug going to cause a whole lot of damage. Quick measure here on this. Looks like roughly just about 0.71 inches at the widest point. Expanded from 0.458 to 0.71. So, what do I think of the 300 grain jacketed hollow point? Again, I believe it's the Hornady XTP round from Underwood Ammo. I think it did very good. As long as you're not looking to use it for uh, like personal protection. If you live somewhere like out in the country where maybe bears are a big deal or something like that, this could be a decent round. If you're looking for <laughs> defense against humans, like a home defense sort of a weapon. <laughs> too much penetration, for one. There's undoubtedly going to be over penetration and with using this round. You have lower capacity because it's 458 extra recoil because it's 458 so for like a home defense personal defense kind of round probably not ideal but if you're looking for like a hunting round i would say this could be a pretty decent option it opened up really wide about 0.71 uh got deep penetration with if you're if you're hunting not a big deal it did only get i believe 1721 for velocity the box damn it quotes 1900 frankly that's not surprising considering the overwhelming majority of ammo manufacturers when they quote uh fps they use the longest barrel possible to market it as well as possible so it got a little bit less than what it's marketed because i'm only using a 16 inch barrel it's not really surprising but again wrapping up my final thoughts if you're looking for a uh self-defense 458 round it's probably a little overkill 458 in general is going to be overkill for self-defense. But if you're looking for a hunting round in 458 SOCOM, I think the 300 grain jacket hollow point from Underwood would be a pretty good option. If you enjoyed the video, you found it entertaining or informative, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Tell me in the comments below what you thought of the, of the load. You want to see me test any other 458 loads, I'll try to get my hands on them. Uh, if you want to see me test anything else in general, tell me. I'll see if I get get some in and test it out. I'm the Kyle Car 131. That was just all kinds of fucking